Some time ago, I used to feel like a lot of time to give to something but had nothing to do. And that is when I started to watch videos on hobbies to do when you're bored, 101 things to do this summer. And all of the advice that they gave in those videos was a generic stuff like learn to do a handstand and try to hold your breath for 3 minutes. And if you can relate to that feeling of emptiness and that feeling of pressure from trying to learn all of those skills and now you're not progressing in any, then this video is for you and every 7 had given me the advice that I'm about to give you at that time. Whenever someone says I have loads of free time but I have nothing to do, I know that's one of the biggest signs of a lack of purpose because someone who knows his purpose, his current reason for being, he always knows what he needs to do. The Japanese have this concept called Ikigai and it's broken into four circles, one representing what you love, what you're good at, what what you can be paid for and what the world needs. And for success in life, you need to find out something in between. In my case, what I love is experimenting, trying out new things, solving problems and basically doing dumb shit. What I'm good at is voicing my own opinions. What the world needs is knowledge and it will always need that. So keeping all those in mind, I had to think of a mixture of things that I would get paid for. In the end, it was YouTube, or rather just social media, which I believe is one of the best business models. If you don't know your passion or what you love to do, then that's entirely your fault and it's probably because you're too addicted to social media and you can't go out and try new things and you probably have a fried attention span and you can't learn. My best advice would be literally do more dumb shit with your friends and try new things and follow your curiosity because most young men like you and me kill that spark of curiosity that rises in your mind and it's just a pity. You should just search up that topic on YouTube and watch a video or a podcast. And you should probably journal on the points because you never know, you might need to recall those points later on. If you genuinely don't have anything to do, then you can do the basic self rumor stuff like gratitude journaling, meditating, uh, learning, getting sunlight and all those stuff. You probably suck at sticking with things and that's because you have like 20 things on your plate which use that distributed kind of focus. But think about it, if you focus on a lot of things and your f focus will be spread thin and you won't really succeed in any of the things that you're trying to do. But if you focus on just a few things, I would only recommend one, then you will actually succeed in that. And that's why you should just choose one goal to go all in on to put all your effort into. Ask yourself. What's the one thing that you want the most badly right now and align as much of your life as you can to that goal, to achieving that goal. Many lads just end up telling other people about their goals and never actually end up achieving that goal because it gives them that the feeling that they're doing the work when they actually aren't. There's a quote that fits into this situation. Preparing to do the thing isn't doing the thing. Being able to really show the thing isn't doing the thing. Scheduling time to do the thing isn't doing the thing. Telling people that you're going to do the thing isn't doing the thing. Hating on yourself for not doing the thing isn't doing the thing. Hating on the obstacles in the way of you doing the thing isn't doing the thing. Fantasizing on all the adoration that you receive once you do the thing isn't doing the thing. The only thing that is doing the thing is doing the thing. Give me some push ups. Make the season of your life the season of manning up and doing the work.